And I'm not sitting here saying like, oh, poor me, poor me. This is not what this video is about. And if you take it away, then I can't change that. But I'm, I'm saying it because there's people out there in my situation. And when I was in that situation, I was like, OMG. Hola, mi nombre es Beatriz, and I go by veggies only underscore chica. I want to start off by saying thank you for following me if you already are, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am excited to share this video, and I'm also nervous. I'm excited because I wish I had come across a video like this one a few years ago, but I'm also nervous because it means that I'm sharing this with such a large audience that I had that I have not done before. I started this, this channel because I am undocumented. It means that I do not have access to the same things that other people do simply because I was not born in this country. And because I'm undocumented, I never thought I would be here. I don't mean like physically, I mean be here in the sense, um, I'll just go ahead and show you a picture to explain. I never thought I would be here. And this is actually my profile picture and it holds a lot of meaning to me. By here, I mean being able to have a home, being able to have a place of my own, being able to work, be a professional, something I always wanted. I went to college and my eyes were always on the prize, that I wanted to be an educated Latina. That was always my goal and my dream. Being able to have things I wanted, because we're all humans, right? We all want things even if we don't need them. But we also need things that we need for survival, like, money to pay for your expenses so this picture reflects that and it, and I didn't thought I could have that because of my status uh, first and foremost because I mean, it, it means that I'm not legally able to work in this country and it puts you behind and makes everything else in life so so much difficult because working it is sort of like the foundation and the premise to be able to be an active and contributing member of society and also to look out for yourself and the people that you love when me cayó el 20 when i realized that oh shoot like this is such a big deal that i'm not able to legally work was when i was 16. Uh, it was when i was 16 because that is when a lot of my friends, people in school, they started to say like, oh, I have an after school job or I'm working at the mall or I'm helping so-and-so, you know? And I guess it was sort of implied to me that, oh, okay, then it makes sense that I also wanna go work. But not, also, not only because I was seeing my friends, but because I started to wanna do things that teenage people wanna do. Like going to the movies. I don't know what else did you all do as teenagers that require money. Um, going for a coffee with your friend, things like that, right? And a lot of these people were able to go to the movies or have do teenage things that require money from their own money because they work at, like I mentioned, at the mall or another spot. In my case, also being able, coming from a low income family, I didn't want to ask my parents for money, first of all, because I was like, I'm old enough to work, I'm healthy, I can put myself out there in the workforce. And third, I want to be independent because people are starting to become independent and I want that too. Um, and then on top of that, I knew my parents were already living paycheck to paycheck, so I wasn't gonna sit there and ask my mom, like, can you please give me $20 so I can go to the movies? It just didn't sit right with me and it didn't felt right. So. I was like, I want to work, and I couldn't. Of course, there's other jobs out there that you can work under the table, etc. but I was the oldest, my parents didn't really know the ways, and so I was basically made to stay at home and just take care of the home and help out my family, which wasn't in the end of the world, but me having like inspirations and wanting to be independent and, have, and not being able to and seeing others do it, was really difficult and hard to accept. More and difficult and more frustrated and sort of became a toll on my entire life and every single perspective when I went to college. In college, why? Because obviously when you're in college, 
a lot of people, I think most people, is they're building themselves as professionals and gaining the skills not only in their classrooms, but also outside of class through internships, jobs, whatever it is, to, to financially sustain themselves, but also to build up their resume so that when they graduate, they can have a good paying well job and launch their careers. Well, that's what I had in mind. My freshman year, um, I was just like any other regular freshman. So, you know, I was getting used to the work. I was going to class. And it started to change a bit once I hit sophomore, junior, especially senior year. When I saw my peers um, saying, you know, oh my God, I just got accepted to this awesome internship. They're paying me so much. Or this internship just told me that I can become a full-time employee once I graduate. Like I already got it in the bag. Of course, like I'm happy for them, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, like, damn, I wish that was me. And you know, and it's even more frustrating because it's not because I'm lacking the skills or there's something that I'm lacking that like, that I can, that I can fix. It was something that I couldn't fix, right? And so I'm there having to find creative ways to sort of like move at the same pace as my colleagues, even though I don't have the same tools in my toolbox as them, right? I knew that I would have a physical paper that said, you know, Beatriz got this degree and so-and-so, but I couldn't just like graduate and then go on the computer or whatever in person and walk into jobs and say, boom, I want to apply. Because next thing you know, you know, they're asking for your social security. And what are you doing if you don't have it? And I'm not sitting here saying like, oh, poor me, poor me. This is not what this video is about. And if you take it that way, then I can't change that. But I'm, I'm saying it because there's people out there in my situation. And when I was in that situation, I was like, OMG. Because I know that those people are going to be like, damn, like I relate to you. And I'm glad that I'm not alone in this. But even if you're not undocumented and you're not going through this, I'm pretty sure you had a similar situation where you felt some kind of frustration or you felt like you weren't going to get out of that hole. You know? Sometimes we just need to see somebody doing it or making it or whatever the case is to be like, you know what? Like, I was feeling down. I was not feeling motivated. But you know what? I got it. Right. But there was times where I was like, oh, shoot, like, what am I going to do? And it was those times where... I could rely on other jobs, so good jobs, no good jobs at all, right? So here I am, I had to work at a store, store overnight, um, cleaning the store, mopping, and all of that. The bathrooms, the bathrooms were disgusting, OMG, like, you don't know how thankful I am every time like, I look at, those, at that store. And then I, I look back at my life now and again, why this is so special to me. And I look at this and I'm like, wow, like I'm getting to work, sitting on a couch on my laptop. Like it's huge to me, you know? I was seeing my peers either get a car or even if they don't have a car, they were driving. They had their driver's license, you know? back in the day when you get your license you post about it you're like oh my god I just got my license like it's a huge deal it's like I, I can't think of the word it's like sort of like a status quo like look I'm becoming independent right and I even if I had a car right let's say I got a car somehow and I was driving and for whatever reason I got stopped I would get my car taken away because I don't have a license depending on what caused me to get stopped in the first place right so in my situation, it would have been bad, but just imagine somebody who has a family and they got stopped, they don't have a license, their car's taken away, um, they're struggling financially. Like you imagine like how much stress that would bring onto their family and how much behind that would put them in like rent or their bills or whatever. And to not get a license wasn't only bad because of that, those reasons that I just mentioned, but also it meant that I had no ID um, and I had to rely on other things. So this is not the end of the world, but I just want to mention and picture to you what a day to life and what did that meant for me. So for instance, you know, I'm a 19 year old, 18 year old, I don't know what age I was, but you know, I'm hanging out with my friends. It's a time where people want to go and try things, like go to the club, right? 
So here I am going to the club and obviously you need an ID when you're going to the club because they have to take your age, right? So I have my friends here pulling up with their IDs, feeling all cool and grown. And obviously I didn't have one, so I had to rely on my passport from my country. So you can imagine like how embarrassing it was to be like trying to be cool and all and be like pulling up with this big old booklet and be like, here's my ID. Like, you know, it was something that I dreaded that I didn't want to go through. And I'm like, can I just like, have a regular ID, you know? So little things like that. Sometimes it can feel so small, but sometimes it could also make you feel very different and not included and mm -hmm. undocumented or if even if you're not you're probably looking at me and you're like damn is she just like talking about this like she's taking a walk in the park and she's talking about how she like cut her hair now mm -hmm. i've been open about my status for a couple of years now and i've also taken the time to process what it means i'm not in the same situation that i was back in those days right if i was back in those days trust me i would not be in front of the screen um i was looking for someone to do this what i'm doing right now which is why i'm doing this for me uh, but i was willing and willing to take the risk because even if this video motivates you or it makes you feel seen that is worth it to me right and like i said it's why i started this channel in the first place so it goes all the way back to as to why I am here. And I'm at a space where, okay, I'm not 100% like perfect and feeling like I can take on the world, but now I'm at a space where I'm more stable, I have more resources, more tools, more knowledge and experience, when I can now pass it on to others. Um, and then at the same time, do what I love. And something that I really love is engaging with people, making new relationships, sharing things about my life so i hope you like my vibe and you like what i'm bringing to this channel here and i hope that you subscribe and like this video so that i, I can remain on the web all right that is it chicos and chicas i'll see you next time adios